Since the 50s and 60s, Rastafarians were prosecuted because of their beliefs and penalised for their dreadlocks, feared and cast off in society as duppy men and the evil spirits. Fast forward to 2014 and France is the hotspot for these prejudices. Paris is not behind, it's completely behind comparing to London. It's like uh, we need to have our revolution at some point. In Paris, there's prejudice about locks. Uh, I know, again, for men, it's quite difficult because they get arrested all the time. And they, they don't take you for, you're not a serious person if you have locks for them anyway. In Paris, if you have dreadlocks, you've got to get used to be arrested by police, search, and uh, be, yeah, misjudged because they think that if you've got locks, you've got like some weeds on you and you've got plenty of weeds in your car and you're on something. A friend who works for the airline company, uh, he passed all the tests, it was good, and then they say the, if you want the job, you need to cut your locks. And he had like long locks, a very beautiful one, and he cut his hair. I used to get arrested all the time with the girls, uh, out of the car, like search the car, you know, have a lot of questions about it. It's, it's a pity really, because it's just a hairstyle. When you don't get the job, you, need, you always need to question if it's because of your, because you're black. So me having locks is not helping, because they're like, oh, she's different. And because most of the women there are wearing weaves or they don't, they're not really comfortable wearing their natural hair in France. I would say my locks symbolise my spirituality. My locks are for fashion. I just always have loved fashion. My locks represent creativity. My locks represent flair. My locks represent spirituality. My locks represent laughter and humour. My locks represent life. And my locks represent foundation and roots. Locks are about all three. In terms of spirituality, more of Mother Africa and coming back to and realizing that your beauty of Africa and who you are as a woman. Uh, a fashion sense, yes, because and there is fashion now. Um, that's why they're like thin. I kept them thin so I can do all my fashion styles and everything and cut it into style if I wanted to. Um, and for me, as well as part of saving money and just being very um, free with expression of my hair. Definitely not for fashion because uh, I don't see locks as. For me, it's not a fashion thing. It's really something it's me it's definitely me it's, and uh, my locks are just the uh, most natural thing I could do with my hair and um, I'm in the UK now it used to be in Paris it's definitely normal here finally I asked my interviewees what their favorite thing about their locks was my favorite thing about my locks is that I can style my hair whichever way my creation in my brain starts to think. Whichever way it comes out, that's the creation and that is it. Um, the fact that they're natural, I, I believe that, you know, many people think that, you know, people of African descent can't have long hair and can't have long hair naturally. But the thing is, we can have long hair and the hair can grow as long as you want it to grow. And I feel like my locks have, have their own personality of their own. Uh, number two, I, it's more than just the hair. It's, it's a, I would say more lifestyle. I feel that it's enhanced my spiritual life. Oh, freedom, definitely. Freedom, um, femininity. I really feel more feminine with my locks than before. Freedom, just freedom. Yeah, they do what I want them to do. Not all the time. <laughs> but I know, I know enough now on how to manipulate my hair to get the best out of it. And I can, you'll never ever have a bad hair day. Even if I look in the mirror and I think, oh gosh, I look rough. <laughs> Guarantee I look really organic to somebody else. <laughs> the colour. Because I never had black hair, so I have uh, two colours and it's different. I don't know. I like it.
just the health of my hair has helped our hair get back to its original health. Well, almost there anyway. <laughs> so yeah. Um, waking up in the morning and not having to do all this. Tie it up and done. <laughs> So many styles you can do with it. Colour it up, cut it, let it grow. Little um, different styles. This kind of misconception that you know, or you have locks. That's it. You're kind of this rigid kind of uh, hairstyle, but it's not at all. So I love that I can do it. It's versatile. It's versatile. Favorite thing about locks now? That feels like a difficult one because there are many, many things. And if I have to pick one thing, um, I found myself. I'm, I'm just pleased when I see a black woman with her natural hair, be it locked or not, because I understand from that that we are, as women, be becoming more comfortable and stronger within ourselves. We can stand up and hold our own, and we don't have to conform to a vision which is socially acceptable by, by a system in a society that's really not our cultural heritage. Our heritage is in Africa, you know, and whatever reflections of that we bring today, it's beautiful, you know, so with that, give thanks. Thank you. There are numerous benefits that come from locking one's hair. Some of these are, save money. Gone are the days of forking out so much money just to get your hair done. Locks are low costing and economically price efficient. When I used to like relax my hair and all that, was it was painful, not natural, and expensive. Now it's so easy to find, you know, cheap products but good quality. Everywhere in London, you can find them any, anywhere. So yeah. Faster hair growth. Dreadlocks completely challenge the myths regarding the incapability of black hair growth. There is something unique and special about hair in this natural form that enables it to grow. My dad could not believe the length and how um, it grew, and he couldn't believe that it was my hair, so he always said, that platon? He always thought it was weave. He couldn't believe it. Every time he saw me, he could not believe it, because people admired it. People would say, oh, your dad's hair nice. And he said, no, I know it nice, but is it platon? He could not believe it, you know? Protective sense of identity and pride, super easy hair maintenance, development of appreciation through patience, stronger, healthier hair. Fact, did you know women have cured depression, anorexia, low self-esteem and body image issues just by growing dreadlocks? are beneficial to other aspects of one's everyday life. Natural hair is a positive step forward for the future health of our hair and shows our youth the beauty of our natural hair and in turn to love themselves. I think all the women should go natural because uh, it's uh, part of who you are anyway so if you hide your hair you have something to hide so I think that if you wear your your, your hair locks or even just natural, then you're happy with who you are and then you can uh, stand out for who you are and uh, be proud of yourself. A lot of us haven't realised how versatile our hair is. You don't necessarily have to lock your hair, but the strength is in the keeping it natural and keeping it real. Hair. And how many more? Where is the line drawn, you see? And who's counting? Yeah, yeah, but and who's counting? Because, because a lot of people do say that they want to see more black women where they're, okay, all right, fine, okay, well, where do, where do, you know, what, uh, what, someone counting, is there a line, is there, like, oh, oh well, there's only 10 of you that are, that are relaxing your hair, that's, a, this is where it stops now. You know, no, but it's true, it, it, it is the truth, you know what I'm trying to say? It, it, we, we've got to, like, be realistic about this, like, you know, how many, at what point, you know, so, the line to be, huh? When, when you walk around the street, Yes. When you watch movies, yes. when you see those American beautiful black women, what are they called? House, wives of whatever, I don't really watch whatever it is. Have you seen one woman wearing their natural hair? 
No, no, I, I have to say that, yeah, I don't name, see that. Name three black actresses. Let's say, um, with black in them, um, Halle Berry, um, Kerry Washington, and... Um, um, Nia Long. Nia Long. Nia, Nia Long. None of them wear their natural hair. That's your answer to how do we measure that? For the heart and soul. Up and lifting us all.